Hey friendlies, it's Carolyn and welcome back to my RV life. Wanted to do a real time update for you today because I've got a couple of things to update you on. Uh, the first, the, the main reason for this video is because I want to give you an update on Dudley, the stray dog that I found in Indiana and I'll do that uh, last. Uh, but the first update I wanted to give you is that I got my mail again today and yes, I made it to Arizona. So kind of just wanted to uh, let you know that I am in Arizona, I got my mail. So special shout out to Shirley, Sally, Flower Child, NS, Rhonda, Tammy V, and Debbie for the cards and the gifts. I'll probably go into more detail about those in a future video. Uh, I also got a gift today from my mom and uh, from her friend who, uh, her friend actually sends me a little something every year. Uh, to remind me of snow and, and upstate New York. <laughs> so it's always kind of fun to get. Uh, yeah, so it was a good day getting my mail here in Arizona. And uh, and that brings me to the second part of this first update, I guess, is I have made it to Ehrenberg. I'm not going to be here very long. I came here today. It is like December 29th. It's Friday. I am here in Ehrenberg and I would love to meet people while I'm here. Uh, and I want to kind of clear up a lot of... Um, uh, um, misunderstanding, I guess. Maybe I'm not communicating well uh, about what uh, my ask is as far as my privacy. Uh, I I have said a couple of times that the RTR is a little overwhelming for me. Even now, I'm really nervous about it. Uh, it's a lot of people. I live by myself most of the time, and I don't want to rehash it. I say it over again. So at the RTR, I have asked that you would respect my space, my camp at the RTR, and um, limit, you know, and 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 limit meeting me to when I'm out and about in camp, when I'm at activities, and when I have my meet and greet rather than having, you know, potentially dozens of people knocking on my door throughout the day. So at the RTR, yes, I have said, please, please honor my boundary there and, and don't come into my camp. Uh, at Ehrenberg, it's a little bit of a different story. I mean, we're all nomads here. It's a, you know, look at it. It's not as many people. And I've already um, been visited by a couple of people and I'm very happy to meet you. Everybody has been really, really thoughtful. Uh, you know, and there seems to be a, an unspoken nomad etiquette about coming into someone's camp. You don't just come barging in and knock on the door. You kind of approach, and I do this even, you don't know what, you know, somebody might be busy, somebody might be working. And a lot of us live in the woods by ourselves most of the time. And, you know, you just don't know what you might be walking into. So, you know, the general rule of thumb, I think, when approaching an RV is just approach slowly <laughs> and uh, announce your presence, say hello, hello, and give that person an opportunity to answer the door or not answer the door. And don't be hurt or upset if they choose, even if you see them in the window and they choose to not open the door. Most of us are introverts. We're used to being alone. And in my case, sometimes I could be working. And if I'm in the middle of something, especially creating a video, or if I'm in the middle of something creative, I can't just drop it and walk away. I usually want to finish a thought or an idea or an inspiration. So, uh, so yeah, it, while I'm in Ehrenberg, I want to meet you. So please don't be afraid to come and say hi. That's why I come to Ehrenberg and that's why I'm actually going to be even at the RTR because I want to meet people. So, uh, I hope that clears up any, um, any uh, misunderstandings about me, you know, uh, gosh, you know, I read some of the comments and I feel like I'm like the worst communicator in the world that I'm accused of calling people stalkers and saying, hell no, don't come into my camp. And I, you know, I don't know. Uh, I guess we hear what we want to hear sometimes. Um, and, uh, okay. So I'm going to be here just not very long. So, but, but while I'm here, I would love to meet you. I am near Bob's old camp where Bob Wells from Cheap RV Living usually, usually camps. I'm in that area area with some of the other regular nomads and um and uh yeah all right the other thing is okay so now let's talk about Dudley uh for those of you who don't know Dudley was the stray dog that I found he found me uh in the national forest in Indiana one morning Capone and I were co you know coming out of the rig for our walk and there's this big happy goofy starving dirty freezing dog <laughs> and he stole my heart um he was pretty awesome. I fed him and I uh, was like, what the heck do I do with this? And a couple friends of mine who were coming down anyway to spend the winter down here from Canada said, wait, we want to, we want him, we want him. And so they came down, they met, met up with me 
and uh, took him to the vet, got him checked out, made sure he didn't have a chip, and decided they wanted to adopt him. And he and we named and they named him Dudley. I keep saying we. They named him Dudley, uh, and so they gave Dudley a home. And we had no idea what Dudley's history was. I mean, we guessed that he was dropped off. He could have been a puppy mill. He was probably abused. He had no manners. Uh, you know, I mean, we had no idea what his history was. And so they took a chance with him and invite him, invited him in to their home with their other dog. And for the last two months, he's been showered with love and food and warmth and <laughs> all the treats you can imagine and steak and all kinds of stuff. Um, Unfortunately, it became clear that Dudley had some pretty serious medical issues um, that just couldn't have been known in the beginning. And unfortunately for my friends, they had to make some really tough decisions. And I'm telling you this partly just to update you and partly because you might see my friends Badge and Elle around the RTR. You might see them around Ehrenberg. You might recognize their trailer. It was in that video. Uh, and I just want you all to know that they're grieving. This has been really, really hard on them. Um, and so, you know, if you see them and Dudley's not with them, that's why. Dudley is no longer with them, okay? So uh, I don't want to give any more detail than that. I want to respect their privacy. They're, like I said, they're grieving. This is a very hard time. They love Dudley. And I just want to say that um, I believe they gave Dudley the best two months of his life, literally, uh, without a doubt. Unconditional love, food, treats, warmth. And um, who knows what would have happened what kind of an outcome just leaving him out in the woods like that would have been. So he had the best two months of his life and all of us did the best we could. And unfortunately it didn't have a happy ending. If you do see my friends out and about, that's what's going on. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll see you at the RTR if I don't see you first in Ehrenberg. I will, um, let me see, anything else about the RTR? The meet and greet will be Sunday. My meet and greet for all open house. You're welcome to come on Sunday, January 14th from 3 to 7, I think, 3 to 7, 3 to 8. Uh, at my RV, we'll have a bonfire, we'll have a meet and greet, uh, bring a chair, and I will be posting coordinates to my rig maybe on the board at the main message board at the RTR. I don't know that I really want to post them online. You know what I'll do? Uh, post them in my fan club and I will post them on Patreon and I will post them on the message board at the RTR. How's that? And, uh, but I, you know, word gets around. I mean, you know, Bob, Bob is going to be camped near me, so all you're going to have to do is say, is, where's Bob or Carolyn camped? And uh, we'll be able to point you in the right direction. But it's usually a couple washes over from the main happenings at the camp. <laughs> all right. And I will have a few friends camp with me as well. So, um, okay, uh, I, that's my update. I'm sorry it's not better news about Dudley. And I'm sorry that I had to lay that on you, but. Uh, curious and um, I also just kind of want to protect my friends who, uh, put their, who uh, you know, put their hearts out and uh, are grieving. Okay, I'll see you all very soon, maybe sooner rather than later, now that all the snowbirds are here gathered in Arizona, Arizona. <laughs> and I will, uh, I'll, I'll s please come say hi, I look forward to meeting you. All right, and until I do see you, be happy, be free, and be kind. See you soon.